what do I carry on a wildlife photography tour? Let's check it out. Hi folks, welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't posted a video in a while, but uh, thank you for sticking around and checking out this video. If you're new here, welcome. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you're always updated with my latest video content. In a few days, I'm heading to Tanzania. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, so on a tour like this, uh, there's a lot of gear to carry. So I'll show you what I would typically carry on uh, wildlife safari but now whether that's in India or whether that's in Africa uh, it doesn't change I've just laid out my gear in my room all set to pack so before I put it in my bag I just want to show you what I uh, what I'm going to be carrying on this tour so let's go check it out so I'll take you guys through the details I would probably do a separate video for gear like my think tank Airport International bag, uh, but as of now, I'll just include this so you guys can have a look as to what I carry. Starting obviously with my camera gear, so you have the Nikon D5, and that's usually paired with my 500mm f4. That's my D500, usually paired with my Nikon 70-200 f2.8. And as always, I carry a couple of wide angle lenses. So that would be my 1680mm. So that usually goes with my D500. Uh, I do have a wide angle for my D5 as well, but I prefer not to carry that and I prefer this. The reason being that it's easier when you're on safari in a vehicle to switch out a medium lens for a small lens rather than switch out a large lens for a wide angle lens. And it's for that reason alone, as well as my Tokina 1116 ultra wide angle, which doesn't get used that often, but in places like Africa where you have elephants that can come up really close to your vehicles, that's a fantastic lens to have. Um, yeah, card, case, uh, sometimes I shoot videos, as you've seen on my uh, YouTube channel, and cleaning kit, uh, filters, GoPro necessity, of course, and uh, a good multi tool, a Swiss Army knife, lens wipes, an excellent set of binoculars. That's the Nikon Pro Staff 7. I also carry a Joby Gorilla Pod because sometimes I would set up um, either to take a video, uh, like during the Great Migration when I'm busy shooting photographs, I also want to shoot video. And so that's a great place for me to set up my my D five hundred D five hundred on that with a wide angle lens, and then it's uh, wrapped around the frame in the vehicle. So that's shooting video while I'm shooting pictures. A monopod. Don't always get to use that, but the reason I carry that is because that I pair that with this. This is my uh, gimbal that I use for my mobile phone. So if you Seeing that the footage is a little shaky right now, it's obviously it's because I'm shooting on my mobile and it's handheld. But when I'm on safari, when I want to take uh, these shots from uh, closer to the ground or from a little higher up, I put the gimbal attached to the monopod. And um, so it gives me a lot more range. Uh, that's a little uh, tripod stand for the gimbal. That's a little clip-on torch, torch light from Coast. That's a little headlight. Usually you need these when you're coming back to camp late at night or rather late in the evening when it's dark or you're leaving really early in the morning and your hands are full with your camera gear. So you, I would prefer to put that on my head rather than have a torch in my hand. A MacBook Pro 15 inch, obviously cannot be out of the field without processing your images. My iPad, uh, power bank, then, um, so those are cases for my hard drives. Guys, always, when you have hard drives, please take more than one 
because you would need to back up, back up your uh, images at the end of the day, and then save your images to the end, at the end of the day, and then back them up also. That's rain gear for my uh, 500mm lens. Uh, that's from Toehold. I've got a poncho. That's my poncho, which I always carry. If it's not for me, it's also just really fast to spread out over the gear and keep it dry. That's my bean bag, hat, sunglasses. So if you're wondering, most of this gear, everything that you see here goes into that, with the exception of my laptop and, um, and my iPad and a couple of other things. But all my photography gear goes into that. This I would usually check in, which is all my chargers and cables and stuff like that. Now the second bag that I have is what I would carry on a flight. And that's usually got my laptop, iPad, uh, books to read, all of that kind of stuff. But the reason I advocate two bags on safari is this is to carry all your gear on a plane to get to your destination. But I don't carry this on safari. Firstly, because it's very cumbersome. You get into a vehicle and you've got other people with you. Uh, every time there's action, by the time you spot the action, then you unzip your case and then you take your gear out it's never going to work. So anyway, you can't have your gear assembled and in the case. It would have to be disassembled. So what I do is once I get to my destination, I assemble my gear and then I hand carry it to the vehicle. So that backpack or rucksack is for my binoculars, for my wide angle lenses, for the Gorilla Pod, for the GoPro uh, tools like my uh, toolkit filters, other things like that, smaller stuff. So it's much easier to get to, takes up a lot less space in the vehicle. And anyway, your camera gear is always going to be held uh, either in your hand or you're going to have it on the seat next to you. So you really don't need to carry that in the vehicle. Yep, looking forward to hearing back from you guys. Let me know what you think. All right, so I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, if you do have any questions, please do write in please do ask and I would be more than happy to oblige. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, as I said, I'm off to Tanzania. So that will most likely be the next video that I'm going to be posting. Until then, may the focus be with you.